Hello everyone, welcome back to Colorful Indian. My name is Ranita. I like to get into all things makeup related. I get into mental health and lifestyle. If you like all of that, subscribe and drop a comment below. And um, if you want to know what look I'm wearing, then do check out the video that came out on Sunday. This is actually part of my dupe of the Nomad Island palette. And yeah, I got some shades really, really like bright and colorful because, um, you know, I'm just someone who enjoys that kind of thing. But yeah, the, it wasn't like a 100% accurate dupe. Uh, just letting you know now before you go and check that one out. So I just want to jump right into that. I'm going to move to the side so that, you know, they can have the spotlight. Okay, so the very first one that I have over here is this over here by Give Me Glow Cosmetics. And this was on the 27th of April that I actually saw this post. Um, they've basically revamped, you know, two of their older palettes. And honestly, Give Me Glow has an amazing formula. If you haven't tried them, you need to. They used to come up with very, very big pans, like the 37 mm one. And um, I honestly thought that that was awesome, but at the same time, it meant that we couldn't buy as much because prices were a lot higher. So, you know, you'd have to spend a lot of money to get like just one shade. And while that was working for a lot of people, you know, who have that capacity, I think that they probably realized a lot of people weren't buying their palettes because they're that big. So um, I actually managed to get a few of the bigger size ones and I really enjoyed them. But this is basically, you know, the new thing. They've also changed um, the way that the palettes actually look. So if you take a look at this, the newer packaging looks absolutely beautiful. You can still go and pick up the Christmas palette if you want to today. Like I went and checked their website yesterday and I was looking at, you know, the palette. So the older one with the 37 mm pans are still up there for $25. The other one, which is the Dusty Rose, that one's already, sorry, the Vintage Rose, that one is already gone. It's sold out, but you can get the new one. So the newer palettes are different in the sense that they've got smaller pans and a brand new design, and uh, they've also reformulated. So if you want to go and pick those up, you can do so for $28. And, uh, you know, that's uh, something that's pretty awesome, I think. Next, we have this over here by What's Up Beauty. It appears to kind of be this pyramid thing. And I, I'm assuming that it's going to be a palette that's based on ancient Egypt. So if you actually check this out, this looks incredible. I think that it's so, so pretty. Um, this really was so interesting because I've never seen a lipstick that has this much like embossing but I think this is so pretty and I think that if you're a fan of ancient Egypt you're going to be very very intrigued by this now I, I really love ancient Egypt and I thought this was gorgeous I actually am very very eager to get my hands on this <laughs> even though the color looks like something I already have but it's so pretty I mean honestly this is gorgeous the artistry is beautiful. Okay, so this collection will be coming out on the 10th of May. So make sure that you have, you know, yourselves ready for the 10th of May because that's when we're going to be getting all of this. Alrighty, next we have this over here by Gloss God. So they actually released a new palette. It looks like it has some matte shades. I think this is the first time I've actually seen a Gloss God's palette with actual matte shades. Now I haven't actually seen anybody use the palette or anything like that, but I'm sure that it's going to be beautiful because I've seen other palettes from them and they're their formula looks to be really, really pretty and amazing. So this is a 12 pen eyeshadow palette. It's called Let's Get Nude, packed with everything from subtle nudes to um, bold bedazzling bronzes. This is a limited edition summer palette ready to party from sunrise to sunset. So this is going to be um, $47. It is vegan, cruelty free. And uh, so I did find the swatches for the Gloss Gods palette. There's only this. It looks pretty beautiful actually. I really like the color story. Um, that beautiful purple, which is the shade not so nude in there, makes it for me. But I'm actually thinking if I remove that shade, do I like anything else? I like Sun Kiss Me. Um, that's that really, really orangey shade that I'm seeing over here. That one also looks really, really nice. Um, if I move it to the side, yeah, we get a better image over here. Well, I mean, the shades are nice. I think that I'm only really enjoying that orange and that purple right over here. I think those two are probably my favorite shades. Out of everything else, I kind of feel like I may not actually necessarily need to get this palette because... Um, kind of feel like I have similar tones already in my makeup collection. Now this over here is taken from Makeup on Your Radar's page. They've uh, come up with these um, collages of the Maybelline Sun Kisser Multi-Use Liquid Blushers. So um, this is uh, looking really, really pretty. It looks like they've come up with a lot of colors, you know, perfect for summer. You can see all of the shades over here. Um, it looks interesting. I mean, I actually really love Maybelline. And oh, oh, they're like, it looks like if you go to their pages, they'll probably like show you, you know, what all of these look like on different skin tones. So I consider that like, yeah. 
but honestly like I'm looking at these three shades and I'm not seeing like the biggest difference it just looks like a slight difference in color like for each like for each skin tone like the deeper skin tones you can see it more obviously but not not so much for the lighter ones it's a very subtle difference over here um but i love maybelline that being said because you know i've used them like ever since i was a little girl um you know their lipsticks were amazing for indian skin and then their eyeliners were amazing as well so yeah and my one of my favorite eyeliners today is a gel liner from them so I actually think that this would be really interesting to test out. I, I think I may actually like to test out that one color that I saw just now, Soul Search, Soul Search, S O L, Soul. Uh, yeah, I, I think that looks pretty because it has like a pink flush and a little bit of like what looks like um, gold, like or orange, like an orangey gold, you know, right over there on the cheeks. And I, I think that would be really pretty for summer actually. These blushers are um, ultra buildable, blendable for 12 hours of wear multi-use shade for all skin tones a uh, key ingredients is that it's infused with vitamin e for a melt to skin formula and it's eleven dollars and 99 cents each and it's also available on ulta beauty right now next we have kaja beauty um these look really really pretty you've got six colors over here um they look very very nice on the swatches i'm only seeing five right now but it says uh, that these are basically $18 and it's a semi-matte blurring lip balm so you basically blur in one swipe that sounds very fascinating I mean I wonder why it's a blurring one um, so this one has shea butter and avocado oil green tangerine and vitamin E so I'm assuming it's for people who have like cracked lips or something um, but it sounds very very fascinating I mean I wouldn't mind trying this out at all um, this one over here it seems that they have six yeah Right, so like I said, they have six shades and uh, skin-loving ingredients to boost lip hydration for 24 hours. So it's to blur the looks of lines on your lips to leave you with a smooth, soft, cloud-like finish. Um, and yeah, these are the shades Pure Cupid, Sweet Bestie, Tangy Love, Romantic Love, My Heart and Affection. So uh, yeah, you can go and check these out. These actually sound really good. I'm, I mean, I would actually really like to get this, so I'm actually happy about this. ColourPop is celebrating 10 years of being around and they've come up with a new collection. So you've got these, you can see the eyeshadow palette, you can see the precious metals. Um, honestly, it's beautiful. I think it looks really pretty. Uh, if you're someone who's into neutrals, you like all these tones, I think that's going to be amazing for you. I just, I, I don't feel particularly drawn to this, but I, I will say I think it's really pretty. Alright, so let's look at these collections up close. Now the palette alone, that's Precious Metals, it's going to be $35. If you get the collection, it's going to be $80. The actual value is $89. And then for those six shades, it's going to be um, $48 over there. So uh, yeah, I think that it makes more sense to actually get both unless you don't want those you know six shades over there but it does look really really um pretty it's just not for me like it's not my kind of color story but i do like the way they've arranged the shades it looks like they have some nice shimmers in there um i've tried ColourPop's formula and i've just not been the biggest fan of you know um like all of their shimmers like when i try them i feel like they're very lackluster in comparison to like other shades that I've tried so that's why like when I see their releases I feel like okay like they, it looks nice but you know I, I know not to expect like too much I'm just going to show you some of the swatches from their website directly and this is um, obviously the eyeshadows I really like this row over here you can see so extra that shade is so pretty it's a gorgeous orange really really like that that's probably my favorite um, shade from everything that I've seen and then I really like this one as well this is very very pretty um, yeah so at least they've given us all the swatches so after seeing the swatches, I think I only like like this current set of shades and then this orange, the So Extra one. Odin's Eyes come out with some new makeup and it looks absolutely gorgeous. 42 shades came out on the 2nd of May. You can see them. Oh my goodness, just check out these swatches. These are stunning. So beautiful. Um, they look so amazing on the deeper skin tone and uh, even these, they look so much better on the deeper skin tone feels like they're heading into like a like single eyeshadow kind of direction they're not they haven't come up with a new palette um but this is gorgeous and if you look at the palette design it also looks really really beautiful so i uh, i'm feeling very tempted especially this like these shades over here are very very tempting for me the normal shimmers not so much but these yes they're very 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 beautiful over here so let's get some information on the pricing um these are going to be um 14.90 for each multi-chrome $6.90 for the single shimmers and uh, $5.90 for the mattes. So yeah, that's that's basically that.
I think it's a nice collection, a little bit on the pricey side, but you know, multi-chromes usually aren't that much. That's why I like brands like Adept, where they give you some inside a palette already and it just works out to be a lot cheaper that way. So it looks like Colourpop has been teasing people with a new release into Pokemon products. I think a lot of people are going to be very, very excited with this. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it too. I used to watch it, you know, when I was a kid. I didn't actually play with the cards or anything, but I think that this would be quite interesting and fun. Let's see what they come up with and let's hope that they have a beautiful color story. Because I know usually what they do is they'll have like a, a majority of mattes and then like a tiny little bit of color in there. And um, that's one of the reasons why I'm never drawn to color pop as much. But I know that a lot of people really love natural looking makeup, so you know, that's probably like appealing for them. So Cosa Beauty, um, which, you know, I just talked about very recently, they had that beautiful like eight shimmer palette and now they're coming up with Lip Synergy Lip Gloss, the perfect combination of bold color and nourishing lip care. It's an innovative lip gloss hybrid that brings you the best of both worlds, rich pigmentation and the comfort of a lip balm. So the colors look pretty nice. Um, they look like they've you know come up with a good range and everything. And I'm just going to tell you about the ingredients. There's hyaluronic acid, jojoba oil, vitamin E, stevia. Um, wow, that honestly sounds amazing. And these are going to be $19 each. Uh, I, I honestly feel interested in this mostly because again it's to, you know skincare makeup I would love to see something like this more often in the makeup community so yeah this sounds amazing I may actually try getting some of these and letting you know how I feel about them okay so this is something that I'm genuinely interested in this is a palette by Electrum Cosmetics now Electrum Cosmetics um, I never saw them do a magnetic palette this is their very first magnetic palette and they're gonna be having 12 shades in here with a mirror um, and they said that they're gonna be telling us more about this pretty soon it's going to be um, you know at the uh, end of next month so that means it's gonna be the end of this month that they're going to be releasing it and I think that you know whatever they come up with it's going to be really really pretty you can see that you know it's got this pretty moth kind of design I don't know I think it looks really nice and uh, I like the fact that it's magnetic because that means now you can take their shades out and you can build your own color stories with it and you can put new shades in here yeah I think that's a really really good um, idea and I like I like this preview that they're giving us it looks like there's going to be six matte shades and there's going to be one two three four yeah five six uh, hopefully duochromes I don't know let's see what happens pretty pretty excited about this more skincare makeup okay so this over here is a plumping lip balm by the in by the inky list and it looks like as if they are going to be um, releasing some new shades uh, this looks really pretty so they've got berry mocha pink and clear over here it says plums lips by up to 40 percent in four weeks that's so freaking cool okay but i mean i not that i need it i don't use lip plumpers and i never will but you know for those of us who do uh, i'm sure that you know you would uh, really enjoy this and the colors look really pretty i actually really like the shades that i'm seeing over here so this is um three gorgeous super wearable tints with the same formula that you know and love hydrates repairs clinically proven to plump lips yeah and it's going to be on their website on the 2nd of May. This is something that I'm genuinely pretty excited about. This is by MBA Cosmetics. They're coming up with a Mother's Day kind of collection. Like it's called Sugar Blooms. Um, looks so beautiful. All these gorgeous springtime shades in here. And it's a volume 2. So I don't know. I think it looks really pretty. Like if you actually look at all of these shades over here. Each one just looks absolutely gorgeous. Um, I think that, you know, this is a very um, me kind of collection and I would absolutely love to get something like this. Just check out these shades. They're so pretty. I think a lot of people are going to be very interested in this. So it's got four multi-chrome eyeshadows and five duochrome eyeshadows. So just letting you know that MBA also has a sale that's going to be happening. It's 20% off with the code MAY20 and this is from the 5th of May to the 11th of May. So if that's something that you're interested in, then uh, just uh, keep your eye open for that. They do have beautiful products and um, they're not going to be shipping during this period. From Between the 4th and the 11th, they will not be shipping. So just bear in mind that it will take a little bit of time to get your products. But that's understandable because uh, usually that, that's how it is with indie brands. 
Glam has dropped some highlighters over here and they look kind of cute. I like the whole, you know, space theme going on. Um, the packaging is very interesting. I really wonder like if that would be easy to use, like, you know, if you were in a hurry. Um, but anyway, this is the Luna Glow Highlighter, three new shades. Um, tea Cake for $7.99, Vanilla Frost and Heart. Next we have this over here by Playing and Makeup by Rolando. Um, this has already launched on the 4th and uh, this looks kind of similar in terms of tones and stuff, uh, like to a certain extent I'd say. I'd not say it's extremely similar but it does look a little similar to like the color story that I saw in Colourpop with of course like those colorful shades up there, like there's four of them. Um, I don't know, I don't really feel this palette. I actually like the shimmers, like I'm looking at those beautiful shimmers and I'm thinking like if they were just being sold like with those shimmers I'd probably be more interested but as for the rest of the shades I just don't feel like that's something I need. I have so many matte shades and uh, yeah that just doesn't make a lot of sense to me to pick something like this up. This is by a Chinese brand actually so if you go to this um, Instagram account called look healthy store underscore official you'll actually come to a lot of you know makeup that's coming directly now from China so we are we're starting to see the rise of like more Chinese brands and I had I had actually spoken about this in a video like a long time ago saying that you know I don't think that we're gonna have a lot of people needing like Americans or just any other country to like go get pigments from there create their own palettes and sell it to us I kind of felt like at some point or the other this was gonna happen they were gonna just start selling it directly to us and I feel like yeah this is this is kind of taken over so yeah you can see these shades over here they look absolutely beautiful um, you know these are I think multi-chromes, they, they call them chameleon, so it's a highly pigmented one. Um, you can go and check out you know, their page and you can go to their place and just click that link and you should be able to find all of this makeup from China. It's really, really pretty though. It looks beautiful um, and uh, I think that you know, this is going to increase competition. There are some brands that are actually from China that are very, very expensive. Um, I've seen some like more than $100 for a palette and stuff and uh, you know, people still want them. So. This looks very nice though and I, I do like all of the shades. This over here is the Mean Greens collection and uh, the Mean Greens collection launched already. It's out, you can go and pick it up. I actually got a set so if you're interested in seeing how these are going to look on me then stay tuned because um, I think that it'll be really really nice to do a look with them and you know the swatches really had me but I just wanted to remind you in case anybody wanted to pick this up it's already out and you can go and do that. Alrighty so this is a lip gloss by Electrum Cosmetics I should mention that previously uh, it's part of the Midnight Moth collection that we had talked about also and uh, it looks absolutely stunning it looks magical actually I think I would love to have a lip gloss like this that just changes color um, so so beautiful I'm very excited to see what Electrum is going to be showing us this is Kopari Beauty. Um, I've tried some of their products before and I actually did like them. So they're coming up with a vitamin C routine. So this over here is a moisturizer and a skin perfecting, I mean a discoloration correcting serum. Sounds very interesting and uh, I'm actually very interested. It looks like there's star fruit in the picture. So yeah, I'm wondering if they actually use star fruit in this. Um, oh yeah, they did. Okay, so there's vitamin C, there's uh, niacinamide, pentanol, and star fruit. Oh, I didn't even know that star fruit brightened and helped target dark spots. You know, we used to eat this all the time in Malaysia, and I, used to, I, I wasn't like the biggest fan of it, and now I'm thinking maybe I should have eaten a lot more. <laughs> Okay, this is a palette over here by, called Cosmic Dreamer. It's by Ensley Rayon Cosmetics and uh, these are the shades. I think it looks pretty nice. It looks like a magnetic palette um, and the swatches of these that I've seen so far look really, really nice. Yeah, so these are some of the swatches that you can see. So the palette I think looks nice, but when I'm looking at the swatches, I kind of feel like I already own a lot of the shades that I'm seeing in here. I think the only things would be the multi-chromes, but even the multi-chromes are starting to look very familiar to me. But um, yeah, it looks like a pretty collection of shades. It's just, it's a bit too familiar for me. All right, so the palette is gonna be $69 and uh, according to the description, it's got um, 10 specialty shades. So you've got multi-chromes, duochromes, holochromes, and metallic finishes. And then you've got, um, you know, the rest of them being matte shades. So you can use like a code and try to get 10% off if you're interested in picking up this palette. More news about Lethal Cosmetics. They're going to be telling us more about the collection that is the last Airbender, you know, that's going to be on the 24th of May and the launch will be on the 31st of May. So that sounds really interesting. Let's see what they've come up with. Um, it looks like there's four different things over here. 
from the picture that I'm looking at. Uh, you can see green, blue, red, yellow, so probably one for each tribe. Like, I don't know, let's see. Okay, so this over here is the palette The Crew. This is by Wicked Widow Beauty, and you can see what the palette image looks like. I think this looks really, really beautiful, um, and this is gonna be coming out pretty soon. I mean, there's no release date, but yeah, it should be coming out, and I will be getting it, so I will do my review for you, so stay tuned for that. Um, this over here is a palette by Spoiled Lips Cosmetics, and it's basically also based on, you know, uh, oddly ancient Egypt. So it's called the Kepri palette um, and it's volume 35 scarab. So it says the palette is filled with rich, vibrant shades and, uh, you know, you can create beautiful looks. So I'm actually looking at the finger swatches. I don't feel like these are super vibrant. Like this just looks very normal to me. Like I feel like I could get this from, you know, like a drugstore brand. Um, it just feels very meh to me. Like I'm not, I'm not feeling it. All right, next we have these brushes over here by Danessa Myricks Beauty. It looks like they've, you know, come up with a lot of beautiful brushes over here. And uh, I think that they also are pretty pricey, like 10 pieces for 175, 11 pieces for 150, 12 piece set is um, 175, 17 piece set for 275, and the 40 piece set, which is the ultimate edition is 450. I think if you're a professional makeup artist, this would make sense. Um, I don't know, it just feels really, really pricey though. I'm sure the quality is really good though because I've seen her products and they look amazing. L'Oreal is also going to be releasing some beautiful looking blushes. So these are lightweight blush formulas with liquid pigments. Um, you basically have what looks like six beautiful shades over here. Um, let's go and see if there's anything. So this is Radiant, Flush of Color, Dewy, and Glowy Shades, Blendable and Buildable. So the two different types of finishes are going to be um, like a glowy one and also dewy matte, okay? And each of these are going to be $12.38. Next we have this over here by Jones Road Beauty. Jones Road Beauty is actually founded by Bobbi Brown and honestly Bobbi Brown is very um, into like very natural kind of makeup and I actually really love the products that I've tried from there. So she's basically come up with this thing called What the Foundation. It's a tinted moisture balm and it basically is a traditional foundation with light to medium buildable coverage. So it's ultra nourishing, blends seamlessly into the skin and leaves you with an even fresh complexion. So it works flawlessly with the face pencil for added coverage in areas with extra redness, blemishes or discoloration and it costs $44. I think this looks really, really nice. Like I'm just looking at this video over here and you know, everybody seems to be looking amazing using this and it really looks nice. I'm honestly very interested in this too. Last but not least, I have this over here for you. So this is the Diverune Cosmetic Sneak Peek. It looks like they're going to be coming up with another makeup palette and you know, it should be interesting to see what they're going to be coming up with. They've already released um, two beautiful palettes. So uh, yeah, it should be nice to see like what they're going to be adding on. And I've never tried this brand, but maybe, you know, this will be a first time. Let's see about that. Alrighty, so thank you so much for joining me for the latest makeup releases. I will see you soon with another video. I hope you have a wonderful week. Bye-bye.